Jesse Bam Rodriguez is moving back up to super flyweight where he won his first title. He's going to fight the WBC champion Juan Francisco Estrada. And this is mainly a fight that a lot of diehard boxing fans know about. But in a big fight weekend that has a lot of action from Teofimo Lopez's bout to UFC 303, this is arguably going to be the most entertaining fight this weekend. Jesse Bam Rodriguez, if you don't know, 19 and 0, 12 knockouts and has superstar, future superstar written all over him in his mid 20s, just entering his prime, maybe, probably not even there yet. It won't be there yet for another year or two. And Juan Francisco Estrada is the best in the world at super flyweight, has the ring magazine title, has a WBC title, has multiple wins over Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, who was seen as perhaps the best in the world in this weight class for several years and maybe a little bit on the other side of his prime or at the tail end of it. But Juan Francisco Estrada did beat Chocolatito twice, avenging an earlier loss against them. So it was a very entertaining trilogy in this weight class. Jesse Bam Rodriguez is coming off a big win against Sonny Edwards in December of last year, where he stopped the IBF champion to unify the WBO and the IBF titles, and he stopped him in the ninth round of their bout. And that Sonny Edwards fight is important because it works to Jesse Bam Rodriguez's advantage. Juan Francisco Estrada hasn't fought since December of 2022. 47 pro fights to Jesse Bam Rodriguez is 19. He is 34 years old. Bam Rodriguez is just 24. So the advantages are going with the younger fighter here, who's obviously very, very skilled, undefeated. 5-0 and with two knockouts in world title fights in his career. And this is where we get to the betting portion of this because this is important. I think a lot of people believe that there could be a stoppage here because it's going to be super flyweights, all action, two of the best in the lighter weight classes. But I like Jesse Bam Rodriguez to win this bout by decision at plus 125 in one major sports book. And wherever else you can find it, it's going to be at plus money as of this recording because Jesse Bam Rodriguez is 5-0 and with two knockouts in world title fights. Juan Francisco Estrada has just six knockout victories in 13 world title fights. So between these two guys, you don't have an even 50% knockout rate in world title fights. A lot of their knockouts have come early on. And while Rodriguez and Estrada both provide excellent volume punching, and this is going to be an action-packed fight, there probably will be a knockdown. There could be a knockdown. That's something that I would look to bet on potentially over half a knockdown if you get it at a decent number. But ultimately, I think this is going to go to the cards. Juan Francisco Estrada, never been knocked out before. Has three losses but it's never been stopped in his career. Ultimately, I just think Bam is going to win, and I think the points are where to look. It has better value than the over-under, and I just don't think he's going to win by knockout. That's all we have for today. Make sure that you check out our other preview, previewing Teofimo Lopez versus Steve Claggett. Obviously, not as competitive of a bout, but Teofimo Lopez, one of the biggest stars in the sport and the best in the world at 140, so go check that one out on this channel as well. Make sure that if you do bet on a fight, track your picks on the Action Network app, most importantly, enjoy the fights this weekend. Take care.